Okay, uh, I'm just gonna take this down and show you how to flash it. Uh, now, what I'll do is I'll actually show you how. Right, you want to go here. Now, this is going to make everything so much easier. Uh, if I'd have found this before, uh, it would have helped me a lot. <laughs> I actually stumbled across it while I was looking for stuff. It's somebody that's put an online compiler online. All right, so it's all, this is all online. You go to this address, and you've actually got a few uh, firmwares in there. Now, the one that's the most interesting is this Lucy Roche hoverboard firmware hack. No. You've got the config H that's already done. What you need to do with this is, yeah, there's not a lot to do. So we'll just take a quick look. I'm not going to go into all this. Uh, the battery calibration you can do if you like. I didn't do it. I just put in, uh, it's a 10 cell. I know it's a 20 cell, but it's a 10S. 2p so it, it, it's there's 20 cells so, but it's a 10s so that you don't need to change there's nothing to change here uh this is the board overheat detection that's already in uh it uses the adc filters on the on the on the actual board so you don't have to uh do anything to this uh this debug you don't do anything uh this is the right sensor board uh, you only disable it if you're going to use the nunchuck firmware. You'll see later on what, what I mean. So you see these are defined and they're defined. This one isn't defined, two hash lines. Uh, so here we go, inputs. Yeah. Uh, now we're inputting on the left sensor cable that I showed you, which is uh, USR2. Uh, you disable it, yeah, if you're using PPM, which is what we're actually using. So it needs to be disabled. You put these two lines if they're not already there. Uh, the rest of it is disabled here. So we're looking at control via NASI remote, yeah? And it actually uses channel 1 and channel 2 on the radio. Uh, but you still... Uh, need to define <coughs> control PPM, yeah. So we're going to take off these two. That makes this line work. Then you want to take this off. That makes this line work. And this is what I was talking about where you've got to put the channels in. Now, mine's an 8 channel. So I want to take this. Even though it isn't using the 8 channels, it needs to know how many channels the receiver's got. If you put 10 in and it's an 8 channel, it won't work. Okay. This is if you want to use two potentiometers. Uh, so... We're not going to use this, uh, so the defined control ADC is blocked out. You don't have to, once this is blocked out, you don't have to block the rest out. If you want to do the nunchuck, which is actually a cable, you can use a nunchuck. Yeah, uh, you can do that, you can find out how to do that on YouTube. Uh, this is just a motor test. If you want to just test that everything's working, uh, so you'd have to take off uh where are we uh control by rc you just block this out define control ppm this is actually what you're telling it to do i'm t telling it to use ppm so you put two hashes in it'll cut that and you can test your motors by defining motor test now i don't want this so i'm going to block this off I know it's blocked off. Uh, driving behavior, yeah. Uh, you don't need to touch this, any of this. Uh, okay. What you can do, if you don't want it to beep when it's going backwards, is you put a zero here, and it won't beep when you're going backwards. Uh, what else? Uh, this is a bobby car. Uh, I'm not doing the bobby car. So I don't touch any of this. I don't touch any of that now. And then this is the main C. So we'll just quickly go through it. To get all this up, you just 
click on the Lucy Roche hoverboard firmware hack. So this is uh, part of the firmware hack. Normally, I, I don't think I actually changed anything in here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you get. Yeah, I did on one. I did change a couple of things on mine, uh, but afterwards you just have to do whatever you know what to do. But otherwise, if you just want the radio control. Uh, so you, you've got like speed coefficients and things like that uh, but you, you best not touching them to start with and just just get it working uh, so you get your power off button beep now this is where you've got the it's got built-in emergency power off if the temperature is not good uh, it's got an, in, an inactivity timeout so if you just leave it and forget about it it'll turn itself off uh, it will also, if the radio gets cut, uh, it'll cut the radio off, uh, it'll cut off as well. So imagine you're driving it around and you lose your signal, the thing will just grind to a halt. So all this is ready. So all you've got to do now is come down to the bottom with this side slider. Make a name, uh, let's make this uh, uh, test PPM and then compile new firmware. Now normally when that's when I've clicked on that successful completion. So you've got two fishes you've got the point hex what you want is the dot bin so you just click on it it'll download it now you've got the lucy rose hover bin uh find out where it is uh it's in french sorry this is the show show it in the in the dossier uh, in the file so it's in telechargement so i'm going to copy it uh copy it and I'm going to go into my dedicated Mr. Badley, uh, which is the SanDisk. I've got droids here. Uh, you can see all the stuff I've been doing with the hoverboard. I, I really was struggling at first. And then I, I stumbled across this, uh, which made it all so, so easy. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to make a new file. Uh, new file dossier that we're going to call test uh, ppm hover board okay so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put the bin file in there it is that's my, my little bin file that I'm going to use the st utility so let's go into see that was easy wasn't it i've now got my firmware to inject it's all done there's no, nothing else to do uh i've got that to inject into the stm which is stm 32 link utility it's our oh, it's free uh google it and you'll get it and it'll come up with this now what you're going to get uh, I'm going to actually link up to it. So, uh, I showed you where you had to bridge up. Let me get the image up. Uh, here we go. So, what you want to do is you want to get a jumper cable or a DuPont cable. Uh, a DuPont female female. And you want to bridge these two. Uh, so, I'm going to plug in. I'm actually going to film this uh, while I'm doing it on. So you get a double live, a double live uh, video. Um, let's, so I've plugged in my battery. So what I want to do is, I'm going down here. So I just got a, a DuPont cable here. Yeah? I put one on one side. Uh, let's get some light. Let's do better. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm no Spielberg, but you know, it doesn't have to be pretty, the video. It just has to work. Ah. Oh. 
cook the malai sauce. There we go. Ah, let there be light. So, oh, there's a lot of cables going around. Let's get some. So, you want to get this, put it on one side, and then I will put it. Let's get the header pins in. Header pins are in. Put it here. And then bridge them. Uh, mine gives that sound. Yours will give a different sound if it's already flashed. Okay. Uh, so that's all linked up. That's linked there. Uh, let's bring this down. Now I'm going to connect. Connect. It's 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 uh, it's connected. Let me put this on pause. Uh, it's connected. Now sometimes it's locked. So what you want to do is go into target uh, option bytes and here the readout protection is disabled. When you first go in it'll be enabled. You want to put it on disabled otherwise you won't be able to program it. So then once you've got all that you go to file open the file remember where you put it uh, so we put it in sandisk droids and it was uh, test ppm hoverboard i've got my bin file i click on it then tag it program and verify start and that is it it's flashed it's done it gave me my little beep so what you want to do now is take off the let's go back so you take off the bridge or one side at least. there we go uh, and that's it uh, you just set up your radio on mode 2 uh, if you've got the left and right if you've got the right you, you, you've got normally on mode 2 the throttle is on the left but you're going to use mode 2 but use the right hand stick the reason being it centers automatically so that's that's a great thing uh, make sure you've got your ppm signal that you've linked up to your your radio and that's all you've got to do. It's flashed. It's ready. You you put everything back together. You can actually uh, uh, test it, like I made the test rig. Uh, then all you've got to do is link everything up. Put your power button back into in, in its place. Uh, you've got your charging cable, and you you're ready to go. <laughs> Doesn't get much simpler anymore. Uh, 